Hey guys, and I have a recommendations video for the 21 days of Ulta. I was going to go through every single product, but to be honest, it's just going to take forever. So I thought I would just point out the things that I'm eyeing and also the things that I personally tried and recommend. Let's go ahead and get started. And the first day on March 12th, the thing that I have tried that I really enjoy is the Tarte Face Tape and this foundation is very full coverage. I do kind of water it down nowadays with oil to use it, but if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, this one is really, really great. And all of these things are going to be like, almost all of them are 50% off. Also on March 12th, they are going to have the Pro Longwear Paint Pots from MAC. Highly recommend Painterly and Soft Ochre. If you haven't tried those, they, they are superb for bases. For the longest time, I use those for years <laughs> until other bases, you know, like until you want to just try other stuff, but highly, highly recommend. They are a little bit on the drier side. The more you have them, the more they um, apply a little bit more drier to the skin, which can enhance texture. So if you're somebody who has more drier skin, you might want to stay away from those but for the most part I feel like they are a really great base on March 13th we have the Urban Decay Cosmetics Spice hydrating lipsticks I really enjoyed these lipsticks and I had quite a few shades I did declutter quite a few of them because they just got old on March 14th they will have the aqua bomb sleeping mask from belief if you're into hydration this is a really great hydrating moisturizer and mask for nighttime on March 15th, they have the BB cream from Herborean. I've heard so much about this and I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to purchase this one if I can find a shade that is suitable for me, but this will be 50% off and it also has an SPF of 20. March 16th, my recommendation would be the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme and Lip Plumpers. I have tried these, really like the tingling feeling that it gives. If you're not into that burning sensation, that these are definitely a skip for you. But these are really, really great if you like, like a little extra oomph to your lip. They add a little plumpiness, a glossiness as well. And also that same day, they have the About Face Matte Lip and Matte Lip Pencils. I haven't tried the pencils, but the matte liquid lipsticks are really really great i love the formula of the about face ones on march 17th there's going to be something from dermalogica 50 percent off we don't know what it is but i'm curious a lot of their skincare is really really great and i've tried quite a bit of it also they have the ofra cosmetics highlighters these are beaming highlighters if you're looking at one specifically this would be a great time to pick it up as well on march 18th they have the fenty by rihanna Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. This is something that I'm eyeing as well. I have tried a lot of her foundations and really highly enjoyed them. So I kind of want to pick up the concealer to test it out. Also, they have the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, Gel, and Hydrating Jelly, depending on what kind of skin type you have. I had used Cl Clinique for years on end, when, especially when I was in college, and I just feel like it is a wonderful skincare. So if you're looking into that, also on March 18th, they have the Benefit Cosmetics blushes. These blushes are absolutely amazing. I own all of them thanks to them sending them in PR, but I have always loved Benefit's uh, blushes. I used to have, be like a diehard fan of Rock a Tour when that was available and I would purchase that over and over. These are just absolutely beautiful. Some of my favorite shades are Pom Pom, Willa, which is like a beautiful like mauve pink. And Butterfly is definitely a very unique and warm tone. So definitely a steal to pick them up 50% off. Also that day they have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. This is a really, really great moisturizer. And they have the Beauty Blender half off for $10. So if you haven't tried a Beauty Blender, that would be a great way to test it out. On March 19th, they have an OG foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place. For many years, I used this and absolutely loved it. I am kind of iffy to pick it up or not because I remember it being full coverage and I kind of like not into full coverage as much anymore. But I, what I loved about the double wear was how beautifully it looked on the skin and then also it would just like stay in place. And I remember using this especially a lot when I lived in Puerto Rico. So I'm kind of like, ooh, should I get that? 
Another thing that I'm eyeing from March 19th is the Kiehl's um, Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I've heard so many people speak wonders about Kiehl's as far as skincare, and it would be amazing to try it for the first time. And then they also have the It Cosmetic Brushes for Ulta, and their brushes are absolutely phenomenal. So if you need any kind of, of brush, that would be a great day to uh, test them out. On March 19th, they have app only exclusives, including the Laura Mercier Light Catcher. This is a translucent setting powder. And that powder is really great if you want to set your face and have like a glowy look to it. I really highly enjoy that powder as well. On March 20th, the OG primers are going to be available, which is Smashbox. If you're looking for a specific primer for your face, they have variations of primers and they will all be on sale on March 20th. On March 21st, I don't think that there's anything that caught my eye. Yeah, there's nothing that caught my eye on March 21st. On the 22nd, Jaclyn Cosmetics is going to have her pressed bronzers. To me, I'm going to skip on that, but they will have the Origins SPF 40 Energy Boosting Tinted Moisturizer. This really calls my name, not only because it is a tinted moisturizer, it has SPF in it, and I absolutely love Origins. I just feel like their skincare is superb, and everything that I've tried from them, I've fallen head over heels for. And then on the 23rd... Um, I don't think there's anything that really calls my name as well. On the 24th, they will have Peter Thomas Roth, 50% off something. If it is the, um, what's that called? If it is their face wash, the anti-aging face wash, I highly recommend it. I just purchased from QVC two for the price of one. I love that face, face wash. It's absolutely amazing. It's one of my all-time repurchase face washes from um, Peter Thomas Roth. I cannot live without it, but it's a surprise steal, so we won't know until the day of. On March 25th, we have a surprise steal from Buxom. I absolutely love Buxom as well, so I'm not sure what's going to be on sale also they have the it cosmetics illuminating spf 50 mine just expired my regular spf um my regular it cosmetics cc cream so i really feel like the illuminating one would really suit me because i like more of that luminous look especially now at this age and so i might pick this up especially because it's 50 percent off they also have the foundation brushes for sale from it cosmetics that day and i absolutely love my it cosmetics brush let me see if i can find it because i've had this for years on end it's this one right here this is just like die hard will not die if you're looking for a good foundation brush it cosmetics is really really has a lot of really great brushes as well so if um, you want to purchase one, that would be a great time because they'll be half off, which means they'll probably be like less than 20 bucks each. Also that same day on the 25th, they will have the Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil. This is one of their larger pencils, so if you want something more precise, this might not be for you, but if you need to cover more area, this might be just the perfect pencil for you. A lot of Benefit's pencils are absolutely amazing. So yeah, it just depends on which one you're looking for. On the 26th, we have the MAC Prep and Prime Fix and Prime Oh my God, can they add more? The Max, the Max Fix Plus, and I absolutely love this setting spray. I always have one in my collection, as you can see here. Absolutely love it, and will always have one in my collection because it is the OG for me. When it comes to a setting spray, I love the Mister on here. It's just absolutely amazing. They also will have on the 26th, the Max Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. I'm definitely eyeing this because I last year used mine up in a project pan and remembered how much I love this freaking foundation. It's especially good, especially now towards the warmer, hotter months, just because it really stays in place and it gives a good amount of coverage as well. Also that same day, they have the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumping Gloss. I kind of want to pick one up as well. I have one of the Maracuja Juicy Lips and these are absolutely amazing. They're just super juicy on the lips, very hydrating, and then they also give like that glossy effect. I love these. I haven't tried the plumping ones, so I kind of want to test that one out. On the 27th, I highly recommend the KVD Beauty Tattoo Pencil Eyeliner. I absolutely love this, especially for tight lining. It's very long wearing. I love the way it dries down, and it's in a pencil form, which makes it very easy to use. 
And then we also have the Pure 4-in-1 Press Mineral Powder Foundation, another press powder foundation that I really enjoy. The Pure Cosmetics one is really, really great, especially for days where um, you want to have like more lighter makeup and just go out, but also have some coverage. I also have that in my collection, which is this one right here. And I am in the shade Bisque MG3, just in case um, you are wondering. But really, really love this as well. So that one will also be 50% off. They also have the Peter Thomas Roth Firm X Peeling Gel. If you're looking something good to exfoliate your skin, I did do a video of this many, many, many years ago. And um, it is really, really great at exfoliating your skin. You just don't want to overdo it. On March 28th, uh, the thing that I'm eyeing is the L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil. I've really been into shower oils lately and have been using especially, oh my god, I forget the name of the brand. Oh, Soap and Glory. I've been using a lot the Soap and Glory one, but I have heard so many good things about this one, the almond one. So for 50% off and it's eight fluid ounces, it's going to be a steal and I will be picking that up. And I think that that's it for that day, yeah. 29th, there is nothing that calls me. On the 30th, I recommend the Benefit Cosmetics Pore Professional Primers. If you're looking for a good pore primer, especially in this area, you can get it. They have the um, hydrating one, which is really good for just hydration all over the skin. The original one is really good if you have like large pores. And then they have the light one, which is a little bit more of a lighter silicone. And you do want to kind of like press them and pat them in. Like you can just like pat them in like this into the pores. Cause if you like press and like rub too much, they will ball up. So that's just something to watch out for. They also have the Philosophy Purity Cleanser. If you're looking for just like a overall good cleanser, that one is really nice. I have tried it in the past. And I think that's it for my recommendations on there. On the 31st, they're gonna have a 50% off It Cosmetics. I'm not sure what that's going to be. They also have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base Primer and Moisturizer. I'm actually like <laughs> kind of tempted to get this because it's super, super hydrating for around the eye area. I did purchase this one time full price and absolutely loved it, especially because the older th that we get, a lot of us get this a really, really dry area underneath our eyes and that can accentuate a lot of uh, wrinkles and I feel like the Bobbi Brown just really hydrates in there. So I'm kind of tempted to repurchase it, especially because it's going to be 50% off. On March 31st, they also have some app-only steals. They're mostly skincare. I don't see anything that really calls my name. And then the last day is going to be April 1st. There's going to have some Kylie Cosmetics lip kits and pressed powders. To me, this is a skip for me right now. The ones that I have from her, I have enjoyed, but ever since she rebranded, I haven't really repurchased anything. Um, of course, I am also on a low buy, so I don't know. Her brand is cute, but um, lately there hasn't been anything that really has called my name. Also on April 1st, they have the Tarte Shape Tape Full Coverage and Ultra Creamy Concealers. If you're into full coverage and don't have as much issues underneath your eye, I do recommend the full coverage. If you have more drier eye, the creamy one is really nice. You do want to use it sparingly because it is super pigmented and you don't want it to crease up and like cake on you. These are really, really super pigmented. So don't try to do like the full on like triangle trend. I mean, like if that's in what you're into, good for you. But for somebody who is like my age and you don't want to accentuate more that area, you just want to kind of have that coverage, just apply like a dot on the inner and outer portion and you're good to go. They also have select cleansers from Clinique that are going to be 50% off on April 1st. And like I said, Clinique is a really, really great brand for skincare. And that is it for my recommendations as far as the 21 Days of Beauty. Let me know what will you be picking up. Do you recommend something that I didn't um, mention in this video but is going to be on sale? Uh, you can find links to the sale and check it out on their website as well. So if you're not following Beauty Deals BFF, I'll put their Instagram down below. They're going to be posting on Instagram like reminders every day that there's the sale and what's going to be on sale each day. So definitely follow them down below and let them know I sent you. Um, and that is it for my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I'm excited for the sale to see what I'm going to pick up. I'm kind of very indecisive lately because 
some days I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. And then other days I look at my collection and I'm like, no, you do not need that. Step, step down. Control yourself, girl. Um, so we shall see what I pick up. Whatever I pick up, I will do a full like 21 days of beauty haul for you guys at the end of it all. And um, yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, you can hit that little red button. I also have social media down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.